So, how long to Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be alright, Mako-chan? Don't worry, I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like that energy! <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. Uh, yes, somehow, but oh, I could use some rest. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. I'm sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. It keeps me alert and motivated. Then we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage your shoulders at once and procure the finest self-serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto? I need to apologize. What? Oh, why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. The mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge, Kaido, by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we nearly strip naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. This is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkiji's looking into is the monarch of support. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the back. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. But what No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite! I'd like to try a bath. 
Would someone mind bringing this bone in? Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, will you guide us there? I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park? It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? crept into my bones. I've learned a valuable lesson on this journey. Sometimes you simply need to enjoy being naked. And that means what exactly? Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. I get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina.
Uh, yeah, they do. And, and for sure that's got nothing to do with what we just heard. Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Sophia might like it as well, though being incorporeal may pose a challenge. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Dry as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it. Its enigma grows deeper still. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. That is indeed a logical conclusion, particularly for a sentient program. Understanding the heart would certainly prove helpful. Uh, yeah, what you said. She seems pretty dead set on it, too. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, heat's starting to get to me. Wanna ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? Whoa, that sounds good, too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We are in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. To appreciate it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the udder, the way farmers have done for millennia. Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. All right. Body and mind refreshed. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Huh? You have a phone call from Zinkichi. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a ball. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Zenkiji's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for him. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? I'm assuming she has connections within the Force, so it may be unwise to provoke her. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody's suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So, what do you make of all this? Bingo. And that's where you come in. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, 
Kyoto's going to be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Possibly. Sorry, let's put that aside for now. Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey... Should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? She's an important part of our investigation now. Alright. You two have something you want to share? You made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medice, actually. It wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medice. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, Shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo-jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Uh... Mm-hmm. At least say something! I don't need your pity. You're the one bringing it up. Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the 10th and I'm counting on you to be there. I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, uh, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island, and an important cultural property. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? This flower is completely wilted! How could you overlook this? Ma'am, I'm so sorry! It's just, this summer's been much hotter than last year. Spare me your excuses. This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't much longer. Please, no! I I'll do anything to fix this! 
You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. Then that's what I'll do, Mayor. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? You're Haru-chan. Huh? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hyodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Yodo? She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic. Oh, could it be your Mari son? Yes, yes. Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari san was one of my father's clients. I used to go golfing all the time, and she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Some freaking coincidence. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh. Please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once! <gasps> I'm on it! Way they all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see it. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day, but do let me know if there's any way I can help you. <sighs> sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two faced. Mari san. You used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? I don't know. We just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was... preoccupied. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Mm-hmm. Really?
Is that what you'd like? Thank you, for, thanks for stopping by. for you. It seems that you and your friends are becoming much stronger. However, the shadow of calamity creeps ever closer to your path. Please bear this in mind. I'm sorry, but I know not its true nature. As for the topic at hand, I summoned you here to notify you about your power of the wild card. The number of personas you can maintain has increased due to your growth. Your potential to wield multiple personas comes with endless possibilities. Hone this power alongside the companions with whom you've formed unbreakable bonds, and prepare for the coming calamity. Whatever else you may need, I'm here for you. 
Hello, Trickster. Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. here had their hearts changed? Crowds have a tendency to attract people. I imagine some of them came of their own volition. Harl. <sighs> Look, Yodo has her phone out. She's gonna say it. Are you ready? I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma, yes? I'm also no stranger to technology. So please feel free to add me. For those of you listening outside Sapporo, outside Hokkaido, or even outside the country, this invitation extends to each of you as well. The keyword is Snow City. Well, there you have it. The whole audience is friending her. Shouldn't we be stopping her right now? No. Causing a scene here would only draw unwanted attention. I hate to say it, but all we can do for now is watch. We can at least be glad we got the keyword. Now we can infiltrate Hyoto's jail anytime we like. The smell here in Suzushino isn't too strong. Getting inside the jail won't be a problem. So the preparations have been made. Then let's go, everyone. If Mari-san really is the monarch, only we can stop her. We can't let her toy with the hearts of innocent people. True that. Let's ready up and begin infiltration.
back! There! Huh? city encased in ice. Its serenity belies a yawning desolation. So cold. Why is it so cold in the summer? The fact that we can enter this jail means that Marisan really is the monarch. Noir. It's okay. My main concern is returning everyone's desires. There's a building in the distance that looks like a castle. Should we go there? Yeah, that's where the desires gotta be. Okay. Then let's make investigating that castle our top priority. Alright. Intruders! Get them! Shadows! Defeat them and move on! Persona! Shadows were to ambush. Be strong, Oracle. <laughs> we're all going down! Leland! Lamia! You're mine! Go, go, go! We're sending us down! Let's finish this! Show me a true self! That was too easy. Ooh, we're in a good spot. Let's Prince take this way. Leela, Principality! Let's go! Oh, 
yours. Around in it, Sophie. Are you still playing in snow mud? I'm not using it. Should be just beyond here. How far does this ice wall go? Doesn't seem like we can just break through it. This place is so cold and empty. It's chilling to think this is how someone sees the world. <sighs> it's over for me. Getting so sleepy. <sighs> Oracle has fainted. Come on, stop fooling around. There must be an alternate route somewhere. Huh. That way is also blocked off. Then our only option is to follow this route. Let's take it as far as we can. Very well. We shall analyze our surroundings and find a proper solution. Oh, it's cold as balls out here. We start jogging and freeze in place. So says the jock. Hey, what else can I do? Every second we waste, that old hag gets another heart in the back. Skull's right. We need to keep moving. Yes, let's explore the castle perimeter and figure out the secret to getting in. It's a prison keep. 
based on the past few jails. We should find something here that'll help us move forward. Nice, the gate's open. Don't you feel like something's off, though? Hmm, not picking up any shadows on the radar. Even so, we shouldn't let our guard down. Anything could happen. A core. That wasn't so hard. I think we're finally getting the hang of this. So, Joker, what'd you get? Is that Mariko Hyodo on there? Looks like a campaign flyer. <laughs> the snowstorm came out of nowhere. Did we trigger this somehow? It looks even worse than the area we just came from. It doesn't look like we can head that way anymore. Then our exit is lost. An ill omen, to be sure. Uh, guys? I don't want to freeze to death here. We need to run for shelter before we get completely snowed in. I can help with that. Oracle, set our destination over there. <laughs> we'll let you find. Whatever it is, I'm going.
Fortunate to have found this. Yeah, this thing saved our asses. But it ain't some trap. I saw three other heaters too. Do you want to go check those out? You mean you can see them from the tower? Huh? That's suspicious. Maybe there's a connection here. But they were put there for a reason. And let's switch on all three heaters. Let us make haste. The longer we linger at the fire, the harder it is to leave. Oh, wicked bearer of flames, who speak both soothes and ensnares, we shall sever thy temptation at once. I think you might be overdoing it.
here to join us. Get ready! Snowy mess. Oh, I'll get punished for sure if she finds out I goofed up. So please do. Yeah. Come! Leland! Lamia! You're mine! Let's go! Grab it, Seth! Lamia! Yeah. Yeah. You're mine! Watch out! Oh, this! Yeah, Here I go! Here I go! Persona! 